Hi there, Blaze here and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set vibrations on your mobile device in Unity. So let's start with Clean Project. I use it with Unity 2022 but it should also work on some older versions. And let's start with creating simple UI. Let's start with creating canvas. We should use scale with screen size and set match to 1. Now let's create UI button. With Text Mesh Pro we need to import TMP Essentials. Let's do this by clicking this button. It should not take long time. Here we go. Set the button on the center of the screen and set text default vibration. You can use auto size and set max to 24. So we will have this text here and we can also use margins let's say 10 on left and right side. Okay, we have our button and now we will need script. So click on the canvas or another object where you want to keep your script, add component, new script and create script named button vibration handler, create that and now open the script in your favorite IDE. And now we have standard script here you Can delete this. We need reference to our button, just button. We will, we will need to import Unity Engine UI. And this is the default vibration button. Remember that you should always use serialized fields, not making the fields public. Now let's create on enable function. And let's create also on disable function. And let's create handle default vibration function. Or we can just name it default vibration. Now in default vibration button, we need to add listener in on click event. And we should push our default vibration function. We should also unsubscribe this listener. In this case that may have no much sense, but it's important to remove listeners when you move between UI panels for example, because if we add a listener in on enable, then we will switch panels and uh, switch back to this panel. We will have two listeners on this button because previous listener was not removed, mm, but we opened this panel twice. So just remember that if you use add listener or you subscribe to event, you should remove listener and unsubscribe this event. And when you subscribe in on enable function, you can easily unsubscribe in on disable function. And now in default vibration, we will create debug log first just to see that our vibration work. And now we will use the function to trigger device vibration. And we do this with handheld that vibrate. You can save this. Let's back to our project. And now the problem is that I cannot show you vibration. I added this debug lag here, so you can see that this vibration is triggered properly when we click on our button. But I will record the sound generated by the phone when it vibrates, and I will put this uh, when editing this video, so you can check how this vibration uh, looks, and you will be able to compare some vibrations and choose whatever you want. One more thing, we need to set this reference here, default vibration button, we need to put this button here, and let's name it also default vibration button so we will have this name also here okay so now let's click play and let's click on default vibration button as you can see default vibration performed log is here also iphone utils vibrate is print here okay i didn't know that this will print uh, this here also okay so we have our default vibration implemented but the problem is that we don't always need this type of vibration because it's really heavy vibration and sometimes we may want to use live vibrations for example for ui feedback when you click on some uh, buttons on your ui you maybe want to generate haptic feedback, uh, light vibration, but sadly it's not possible using default Unity library, but it is possible in libraries on Android and iOS. However, creating this implementation for these libraries can took really much time, so I will show you easier method. You need to just open this page haptic feedback on candy coded repository and you need to install additional package here is the link you need to copy this link back to unity go to window package manager click on this plus icon and add package from git url 
Now paste this link and click add. This package is now installing. Okay, it is installed now. You can close this. One more important thing, when you use third party libraries, especially in commercial project, take care of all licenses. As you can see, this project is on mid license and that means that you can use this also in commercial use projects. This is really important if you want to sell your game later. Okay, so we have our library installed. This library provides three different types of vibration. So let's create three more buttons here. Let's move this one a little. Let's set the names. Light vibration button. Medium vibration button. And heavy vibration button. Now let's set the text on these buttons. Now we need to jump to our C -sharp script and we need to add more functions for vibrations, light, medium and heavy. So let's start with it. Also we need to add some new reference for another buttons here. And let's set these references instantly because I will forget about this later. Okay, let's save the scene and let's back here. Now I will put debug log in every function so you can see this work. Okay, and now most important thing, we need to set using for and decoded. But if this using seems to not work, we need to switch to Unity back and check your target platform. We now are targeted on Windows, Mac and Linux. We need to change this for Android or iOS. So let's check iOS first and let's click switch platform. This will take a while. After scripts finish to compile, we can back to our project. And now this using seems to work. There is no red underline. Now we can use our methods to perform vibration. When you scroll down on this page, you will have this function listed here haptic feedback dot light feedback here we have the same but with medium feedback and the last but not least haptic feedback heavy feedback now let's save this okay we have using candy coded haptic feedback added so we can remove this sorry okay i forgot to add listeners here so let's do this quickly light vibration button on click add listener light vibration the same for another and remember to unsubscribe this now let's back to unity click play and now we can test our three new buttons so let's start with light vibration medium vibration now and the heavy one and we have logs here that every vibration is performed and i recommend to add this debug log when you develop your game okay and that's all Hope this will help you. See you soon in the next video. Bye.